Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Tech and today I'm gonna show you that how you can flash Cyanogen mod 12.1 ROM on your Lenovo K3 node. In the previous video, I have shown you that how to flash TWRP recovery. Check that video first, link is in the description below. You need a custom recovery to install this ROM on your phone. So at first you have to flash TWRP recovery and have to download this CM12.1 ROM and G apps from the link that I have provided in the description below. After downloading CM12.1 and G apps, just put them in your phone's internal storage. I have made a video real time. Frankly speaking, the quality of that video is poor because that was my laptop's web uh, cam in fully artificial lighting. Sorry for that because I don't have digital camera. Also, this is my only phone and I'm taking breaks. I can't afford right now because I haven't get anything from YouTube till now. Uh, also, I'm jobless, so it's a very poor situation. May you feel that. Bear with me, let's get straight to the video. Guys, this is my K3 Note. Press and hold volume up and down key along with power key until it lights up. Release power key and hold volume buttons just one more second and release them. You will get straight to the TWRP recovery like this. Now, at first, you have to wipe your device. Go to wipe, make a factory set, and then go to advanced wipe and select Dalvik cache, cache, data, and wipe it by swiping it like this. Guys, notice uh, this processor will remove everything from your phone's internal storage, so make a backup before doing this. Now go back. I highly recommend you to make a backup of your current room. Make sure that your device has a sufficient storage. Go to backup and swipe to backup. This processor will take a few minutes. Be patient. I am fast forwarding this video until I backup the current room. It may take 4 to 5 minutes to back up or even longer to back up your current room. And now it is saying backup successful, so that's great. No chance to break your device. Now go back to the main home page of TWRP recovery. Go to install and search for the ROM CM12.1 and G apps in phone's storage. Make sure that you are flashing that particular ROM. First you have to flash the ROM. It will take few minutes so be patient. As you can see that flashing ROM is successful. Guys do not do anything with your phone while you are flashing ROM. If your phone's battery is low then plug it to your charger. Now just go back and now it's time to flash Google Apps or G Apps or Gaps whatever you like to say. Again be patient it will take few minutes to flash it. As you can see, it has successfully flashed G apps. It will be better if you can clear Dalvi cache and cache one more time. Less time to boot up, just click on reboot system. As you can see, Cyanogen logo boots up. That's great. It may take over 5 minutes to first boot, so be patient. And finally saying Android is upgrading, again be patient. And there we go, let's set up. Looks like 
it support multi language that's great i am selecting english united states wi-fi is working fine as you can see it has detected my wi-fi also detected my two sim cards and i have successfully installed cm 12.1 super smooth no bloatware everything is working just fine on the first boot i get around 1.2 gb of ram free so that's it for this video guys i will soon post a in depth review video of this room and share my all experiences try to find bugs how is the performance, uh, battery life and many more I will tell on that video. So stay tuned by subscribing my channel. So, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope this is helpful. If helpful then please do hit the like button to appreciate my work and check my other videos too. Also do not forget to subscribe for more videos like this and if you uh, have any question, doubts regarding anything in my channel do post them in the comment section below. Thank you guys, thank you for watching.